jump on our Western Conference playoff pits. We'll start off with the Oklahoma City Thunder, number one seed in the West, going up against James Harden and the Rockets. This is going to be a good series because James Harden probably got a little chip on his shoulder about to prove a point to Oklahoma City Thunder. I just don't think he got enough people to help him out to, to have this upset come up. So uh, Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, one-two punch. Only way the Rockets get a chance to beat them is if they get Russell Westbrook all upset and everything, play out his game. Kevin Durant ain't strong enough to put him back in place. That's the reason why now, last year when James Harden got traded, I was agreeing with Oklahoma City Thunder, but it looks like Oklahoma City Thunder. They, they missing some, some James Harden. Now, I'm knocking Kevin Martin, but he is definitely no James Harden. James Harden and the, and the Rockets, good team, the up and coming team. I think they're still in the, in the running to get Dwight Howard from the Lakers. We'll talk about that later. Uh, but right now, he don't have enough, enough help. Omar Shi, he, he'll be a nice little presence in the middle. There's just too much Oklahoma City Thunder. They've been there. They play off uh, contenders from last year. Oh, final contenders from last year, so they're ready. Scott Brooks is a great coach. All that being said, I'm gonna go Oklahoma City. I'm gonna go six games. I think the Rockets gonna win probably both the games at home, but I'm gonna go with the Thunder in six. Could be even five, but Thunder, what say you? Yeah, I'm, I'm going with OKC too, but I'm taking them at five because I don't think for one, James Harden, look, I ain't forgot. You didn't show up in the finals, okay? <laughs> I ain't right. forgot. Right. All right, now you go to Houston, and they just, they give you all this money, and they, they said, just shoot, shoot the motherfucker. And that's what you've been doing. You shoot the ball, and I think he get to the free throw line more than any, anybody in NBA history problem. You know what? That's that's great for him, and that's great for Houston. Jeremy Lin and Ashiki. Okay, they all right. Okay. Right. But OKC finna warm up on their ass. You know, they just getting ready. They they not gonna look past them. Okay. But they, they ain't nearly got enough to stop this train right here. They, they ain't real hey, I'm I'm just gonna say right now, I'm riding OKC right right through the West. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, you just put it out there. I just Go put ahead. it out there right okay. now, right through the West. Okay. And we starting with Houston, all right? Open a can of whoop ass right now on the Houston Rockets. Wow. Would you get his name against the Houston Rockets, man? No. You, sound, you sound like you. They did something to you. No, I always like the Houston Rockets. <laughs> I, I'm like James Hart. Wow. Really? I don't like James Hart. Wow. The shade, motherfucker. Shit. Yeah, I said. Okay. We're going to move on. Woo. I didn't know you felt that way about that, bro. Next up, we have the San Antonio Spurs going against the Los Angeles Lakers. Okay. Los Angeles Lakers made it to the playoff. Because I was going to burn y'all ass because if they didn't make it to the playoff, I was going to make a video and make, show y'all how they the biggest bust in <laughs> NBA history. But they squeaked in. They didn't just make the AC, they made it all the way up to the seventh seed. So congratulations. Go ahead and make it to the playoffs. Go to the Jazz. Exactly. This is where it is. Fucking San late. Antonio Spurs. Yes, I'm an official Laker hater. Here's my card. <laughs> San Antonio Spurs. One of the, I know I said Doc Rivers was one of the top two, three coaches. Here's the other one, Greg Popovich. Yeah, I know that they, they, they limped into the playoffs. I know, uh, uh, what's his name? I can't remember. Uh, Ginobili's hurt, tore hamstring. I got that. Tony Parker come back from his serious ankle sprain. What else? Tony Parker, okay, La Lakers, y'all ain't healthy either. Kobe Bryant gone. I can talk about that later. But anyway, Kobe Bryant gone for the season. Uh, messed up his Achilles. Uh, 
Mid World Peace had surgery about a week or two ago on his knee. Nash. Nash, he getting epidural shots in his back so he can just be able to walk up on the floor. Come on, man. And he's going to stick Tony Parker? Come on. Tim Duncan, one of the top power forward in NBA history. Kawhi Leonard, Danny Green, come on, man. Let's not waste no time. Lakers, be happy that you, Lakers fans, be happy that your team made it to the playoffs. This is where it is. I got the San Antonio Spurs in five. Both the Lakers, five. What say you, man? <laughs> I'm telling you, I got, I got, oh, you don't know how many people uh, that's tweeted me and yeah, text me talking about Lakers made it. Whatever. Go on, man. Uh, unfortunately, the Lakers, they, they have the uh, unfortunate task of dealing with the Spurs in the first round. Spurs do this shit every year, y'all. They sit around all year bullshit all year long and coast through these games and they win, end up winning 60 plus games. I think they went 50 something this year, 58 or whatever. But they rested their players a lot this year. Some of them got hurt. Tim Duncan, whether he was hurt or not, I don't know, he didn't play a lot. Ginobili didn't play a lot. Parker, he was hurt, he didn't play a lot. Uh, now, it's the playoffs, okay? First team, 15 wins, win it all. And that's just what the Spurs do. Them old men put on their damn socks, lace up their shoes. And we like, who we got? LA, no Kobe. Okay. Nash, he don't he don't really want to play. They just pay him a lot of money. He take the shots and he go out there, you know, do whatever. He's not, I don't doubt, I doubt if he play. But they got Steve with Steve Blake. Mm -hmm. He been playing, he been balling 20 plus points. He got, got the opportunity to play. Uh, the two big guys, Gasol and Howard. I like Gasol. I'm not, I used to like Howard in Orlando. He's fucking bummed now. I don't know what's going on with them. Both of them on the court together, just, they don't, they don't even look right no more. Uh, this, I think they, I think that they're gonna be overmatched just because, just because what the Spurs do. They, they, they do everything precision, like, especially if Ginobili get back and play. I don't know. I don't know about the calculated move about picking up Tracy McGrady. I don't know what the hell that was about. You know, maybe somebody owes somebody some money or something. Ah, right. Stephen Jackson got cut. That what it was? Yeah. There you go. Okay, McGrady slid right on up in there. I don't even know if he'll get a ring or get a playoff pod or what. He just he's working right now. I can't yeah. knock the man for work. Right. But all that garbage that I just said. I'm still taking the Spurs. No, I'm not a Laker fan either. The chances of winning this series went down tremendously when Kobe went out. Mm -hmm. All right, Spurs in six. Cool. Next up, we got the Denver Nuggets playing the Golden State Warriors. I like what Mark Jackson done with the Golden State Warriors. Great coach, did a great coaching job bringing them into the Playoffs. Uh, Stephen Curry shooting his ass off. There's no as long as he in the building, them threes gonna be popping anywhere on the court. So, congr oh, congrats for beating for single se single season record of three. I think it's at 272 right now. He beat Ray Allen's record. Congrats, David Lee. I like David Lee. Andrew Bogut still hurt. Don't know where he at. Uh, Denver, I like Denver. Denver got no stars and they balling. Um, Ken Faree, he got hurt. Twisted ankle, hopefully he gets to be able to come back. Corey Brewer, Ty Lawson, Iguodala. The list goes on. George Carl, great coach, running gun. I think they're gonna run the Golden State out of the out of the gym. So I'm gonna pick the Denver Nuggets in six. And I got the Denver Nuggets might be, shock, might be shocking in the NBA world and might be going far if they do the right thing. So I got the Nuggets in six. What say you? I, I like that. I like that pick too. Uh, Golden State, they, yeah. Very offensive minded. Uh, Curry, I mean, if, if he in the gym, it's, it's a good three. Exactly. It's a good look. Mm -hmm. You know, but them Denver Nuggets, hey. 
I was off work on injury and I had the dubious distinction of watching them. And every time they get the ball, but I got tired just looking at Demo. It's, let's go, let's right. just go. Don't set up nothing, let's go. It's a fast break. Right. Every time they get the ball, it's a fast break up the court. It's a race right. up the court. And that's what they do. And they've done it all year. And they're going to continue to do the shit against Golden State. Denver, what they, I think Denver had the best home record this year. Mm -hmm. They just, man, they just go. They just go get it. Ain't and that's the wish we go into. Ain't no flash. Ain't nothing. Yeah, Godal right. went over there and they just been doing it. You know, so I got to go with Denver. I'm going to get, I'm going to get Golden State. I'm going to get Golden State one game. I'm going to get them one game just because they got in the playoffs. <laughs> you know, Golden State ain't been in the playoffs. In, I think twice in 20 years, you know. Mm -hmm. I heard they had a, a rally or a party or something just for them celebrate them leaving town, going to them. They was out there juking and everything. But, <laughs> hey, it's Golden State. They need something to celebrate out there. Them in five. Okay. Cool. Last game in the Western Conference playoffs, we got the Los Angeles Clippers, fourth seed, playing the Memphis Grizzlies, fifth seed. Uh, just like the Boston New York game in the East, this this was flip flopping the whole week for me when I was trying to make a pick. The Clippers they came out balling. They they, they own LA right now. Lakers, y'all sit back. Clippers taking over right now. So they've been balling, but lately, you know, the rumors going around. Chris Paul been tripping. Uh, DeAndre, Jordan, Crying, Blake Griffin, uh, whatever kind of drama they got going Fuck on out there. Kid commercials, you need to stop that shit, that's his problem. I'm uh, sorry, go right here. They have a drama out there, but I've always liked Memphis Grizzlies for a couple of years. They grind me, they gonna grind it, they gonna, cut, they gonna bring it to you, bring it, I mean, just smash it in your face. Lionel Holland's doing a great job in Memphis. They picked up Tayshaun Prince. Got rid of Rudy Gay. They've been there. They, 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 the chemistry is there. Mark Gasol, I like him better than Paul Gasol. That's just me. Uh, Zach Randolph. Now, if y'all haven't been paying attention, Zach Randolph been punking Blake Griffin this season. All up in his face, pushing him around. Mike Conley, he's a he's an underrated point guard. He don't get the respect that he should get. All that being said, I'm just gonna stop. I'm going with the Memphis Grizzlies. I had the Clippers, and another thing, you know why I don't like the Clippers too much, they would go far if they had another coach. Vinny Del Negro, I'm not a Vinny Del Negro fan. That's just me. I'ma pick the Memphis Grizzlies in six. I this. I was gonna go five, but I'ma give the Clippers a good 10. So I'ma say Memphis Grizzlies in six. What say you? I think, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Uh, Clippers there, they slowed down internal disputes or whatever they got going on there. My man K. Stan Vinny, I don't know. Vinny they did a great job as far as I'm concerned. Memphis, number one defensive team in the league this year. They're going to make you play half court. All that Lob City shit, you know, they're they going to bring that shit down. You're going to have to play half court against these guys in order to beat them. Can they beat them? Yeah, I think they can beat them. Will they beat them? No, I don't think so. I think this series is going to be tight. I think it's going seven also. But I'm picking Memphis. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Those are our picks. I think now, I'm thinking, we was, we picked all of them the same except for Chicago and Nets, right? Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's what we got for you. Tell us what you think about our picks. Hit us down in the comments. Thumbs up, thumbs down. That's what we got. This is Get With Sports. Place we get your sports out with a little swag. That's it. We done. And as always, be good, be safe, get with it.